Hi, I'm Brian McLaughlin, and I speak out. I'd like to talk to you about parental abduction and alienation. I have spent my entire life dealing with both of these issues. At two years old, my father kidnapped me. As a child and young adult, I did reach out and attempt to find my mother. At eight years old, my father told me that my mother was a party and that she was demonized. At 16, he told me that she had thrown me halfway across a room onto a bed and said, this doesn't even feel like my child. At 18, my father told me that my mother had died. I was 33 when, as I was looking for my mother's grave, I did find her. And I found my mother very much alive. I discovered that she had written letters to my father begging to see me. She searched me for seven years before she gave up and attempted suicide. Fortunately, her attempt was unsuccessful, but she did end up with brain damage. What most parents don't realize is that parental alienation hurts the children. A parent tells a child, your father's a drunk or your mother's an idiot. Children know they are two halves of both their parents. And they think to themselves, if my father's a drunk, then what am I? If my mother's an idiot, then I too must be an idiot. You may think that you're getting back at the other parent, but you could be destroying your child's self-esteem, even endangering their future relationships. The relationship your child has with your ex is not the relationship you have with your ex. Every child needs both parents. As long as the other parent is not abusive, you should be nurturing your child's love for the other parent. I'm 56 years old and I am still dealing with my father's vengeful alienation. Please, Put parental alienation behind you and put your child's healthy future in front of you. I'm Brian McLaughlin. I am a survivor of parental abduction and alienation. And I speak out.